mouse follow effect is an interactive way to make your website more playful eyes can be used as camera to follow your cursor movement today as i was scrolling on awards i came across such website this cool looking character follows you around while his mouth moves and in this video we are going to recreate this same effect in figma in our figma file let's create our character this character is made of three elements a background color a layer blur and a face first align both elements and group them together place the eye and the mouth on the group this face is animating on loop i have just created a component with a variant that rotates you can find these in the figma file the link is in the description below before designing let's understand some basic stuff when the mouse enter we want our character to follow the cursor up and down smoothly but how can we achieve this in figma on the live website they track the x and y position of the cursor and assign the values to the character to follow the cursor around the page but in figma we don't have tracking so how can we do this let's find out first create a box remove its fill and add a stroke hold alt and create a duplicate of this frame in the second frame move its face to the side a little bit now for the next part switch to prototype select the box from the first frame and connect it to the second frame in the transition select trigger to while hover smart animate and a gentle ease of 1500 millisecond now when our mouse enters this box the character follows the cursor there's the first part now for the next part create another box and in the prototype add hover on both boxes now it moves up and down now to cover the whole page just make more boxes for each part left right top bottom and center now that you understand the basic concepts let's move to the actual design create a frame of 1200 by 670 add background color and other elements on the frame you can find these elements on the assets page now go copy the character and change its color to purple create 6 duplicate frame for each box change the color for the left ones to the pink and the right ones to green Now add boxes on top of the main frame. Connect your top left frame and add transition of hover with gentle ease of 1500 millisecond. Now move the character to that direction. Now do same for the bottom left.
now let's add a flow and see if the changes are applied as you can see it's working perfectly for the left side both top and bottom now let's do same for the the rest of the boxes Now it follows all direction. You see, we can move from outside but can't form inside the box, resulting in this laggy animation. Now to make the animation smoother, we have to copy all 7 boxes from the original frame and paste them in the rest of the frames. And by some figma magic, these connect to the appropriate frames. And the final result looks something like this with a lot of interactions. Before checking the final design, first hide these boxes. Now we can play with our character. If you want to implement this in live website, watch my next video where I have added the same interaction in a framer side. So make sure to subscribe for future updates.